Welcome back. I hope the editing that I did last time was to your liking. Hmm. So I'm going to be out of town for the next couple of days. I have to go visit my fr my mother's friend in Arizona for the next two days. Um, so I thought I'd record a couple um, parts for today. About, you know, 45 minutes worth. Nothing that important, you know. Nothing hardcore, just a little bit of Katawa Shoujo to tide you guys over since I've been kind of a self-depreciative piece of shit right now, so... Anyway, let's get right to it. That is time I will never get back. I'll get him for this somehow. But right now, I have to get to class. I'm the first person in class today, although I think I'm a little too early. Then again, sitting alone here for 20 minutes sure beats having to suffer that time with Kenji. Ugh. Do you guys want to go uh, conduct some batons freely? <laughs> that is possibly one of the best quotes I have ever heard anywhere, ever. Check to see where my tea is, and let's go. The combination of fatigue, frustration, and boredom starts making me feel very tired. I black out for a second, waking up when my head hits the surface of my desk, rubbing my forehead. I realize this is a good reason, as any, to stay up for now and stop coming to class so early later. Eventually, I hear a tapping noise outside the hallway, and Lily's tall figure appears in the doorway. She's not in this class, so she must have some other business. Maybe she is looking for Hanako. Lily stops at the door, looking hesitant as if she were a vampire who can't come in unless invited. I consider doing so because I consider doing so because she looks rather lonesome standing there. She steps in on her own accord though, after straightening straightening her skirt. Her skirt and shirt that melded together, um, collar, as if it was of importance to look prim when entering our classroom. Excuse me, she calls into the quiet classroom with a probing, delicate voice. I realize this silence might unnerve her because of her blindness, so I break it. Good morning, Lily. Hey, Sal? Good morning. I didn't hear you come in. I wonder if she thinks if she thinks it's suspicious I didn't say anything to her before. It's likely if I were to tell her too big a lie here, it would sink me. Well, I was already here, just asleep until now. Oh, have you seen Hanako today by any chance? No, she seems to come in only just before the bells ring, or after that. Do you want me to tell her something for you? No, it's fine. It's strange, but I think we're the only two people in the school right now. I didn't hear anyone else on the, my way here. I shouldn't have gotten up so early today, I guess. You're chastising yourself for doing something that other people should. Punctuality is a good thing. I think so, anyway. I bullshit. I will sleep all fucking day if I can. It's a very busy morning today. The festivals is coming up soon, and today is the deadline for event registration, budget reports, and any other official paperwork. It could be that everyone is trying to complete the necessary forms at the last minute. Maybe that is why it's so quiet today. Hi, hi! Oh god, not the her again, please. Ah. Misha pops into the room with Shizune as if on cue, shouting with a loudness that makes Lily visibly flinch. Hi, Hitchan! God damn it, don't talk to me. Hi. Oh god, it's... no. Look, it's the class representative. Hello. Oh god. Lily smiles, probably amused by Misha's or Shizune's use of the word look. Oh god. This is one of the worst parts in the game. It's terrifying. They shouldn't be close to each other. Good morning. Dot, dot, dot. Of course, you're not the representative of this class, right? Right. I'm not. Lily seems a little more guarded in her answers to Shizune than she was with me the other day. I guess they really don't get along at all. 
Then I realized that Lily might actually not know Shizune is present and she's trying to detect whether or not she is to know who she is talking to. For all she knows, she's talking to Misha, but knowing that she and Shizune are practically inseparable, she might expect Shizune being the only one that actually talks. That is really fucking complicated. Damn how complicated. I decided to help Lily out. For my own peace of mind more than anything else. You're here, early Shizune. You were here even earlier than us. The uses of ellipses in this is so fucking annoying. Misha puffs out her cheeks angrily. Why is she getting angry? Does she feel emotion on Shizune's behalf too? It's not that weird though that Shizune didn't like my little comment. It's true. I was here earlier than them, so me saying something like that could definitely be misinterpreted as anything. Especially to Shizune. 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 Who doesn't have the benefit of hearing tone to gauge intent. Before I can start weighing whether or not I should apologize, Shizune has already moved on. That is a good question. Are there, like, certain symbols that they put on the beginning or end of... And my sister's walking past. Is there certain symbols, their hand gestures that they do for, you know, like to show the intent of, I'm going to shut the door real quick. You know, just to show the intent, you know, like a symbol for showing sarcasm or a symbol for showing jokingly or, you know, stuff like that. Are there? Do you? Do you think... I think they would be intently useful for that, and I'm... I just realized how much of an idiot I am. I'm uh, smoking a cigarette, and actually directly next to my ashtray is about... Or next to the microphone as well is about... Like, six bullets. So I'm gonna move those. I apologize. I need to sort out my ammunition shortage storage for my bolt action rifle um another news for that i just got my lower receiver so i'm actually i know i'm mainly a gaming channel but i'm going to do a build of my ar-15 for you guys just because i find it interesting and i'd like to share my building this with you guys just a thought anyway let's continue dot 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 or did i read that because before I can start weighing whether or not I should apologize, Shizune has already moved on. Dot dot dot. The ellipses. Class rep, it's a good thing you're here. We have to talk. Dot dot dot. The festival is coming up in three days, right? Every other class has already handed in their project budget reports for their events, even the first years, except you. <laughs> there is still time to hand it in, isn't there? Today. The deadline is today. You're certainly taking your time, aren't you? If I had it my way, I'd have all of the necessary paperwork days ago, but someone had to say the deadline, please ex had to say the deadline, please extend it. How about how about, please extend the deadline, why... Why must you talk like Yoda? Yes, that was me. Planning something on this scale is not a small task, and a week is too small a time frame to expect a whole class to work out such a complex issue completely. Dot dot dot. Do you want to know what's harder than distributing fun the funds for one class event? Handling the same matter for every class in the school, and then some. The one who does that is me. Well, you fucking chose it. Shut your mouth. Misha put her hands on her hips and stands up straight. Wow, she is really getting into the role. Lily doesn't look like she is very amused, though. Hey, Shizune, aren't you being a little too hard on her? There's still a whole day left. Please, Asao, it's all right. Lily seems happy I'm t taking her side, but a bit conflicted that I might not think she can take care of herself. If this is about the budget, then I'm disappointed you think I have forgotten about it. I understand how important it is. 
Then can I have it, please? Shizune, she might not have it on her at this exact second. It's not here. It's not here right now. I asked two students to take care of it for me. Students of my class. She emphasizes the last sentence, much to my surprise. She knows about Shizune and Misha's efforts to rope me into the student council. I guess word must have gotten around now, so now she's using me as ammo against Shizune. This just gets better and better. No, it doesn't. I don't like the fighting. It was your responsibility. A budget report isn't something you should just be delegating away as class rep. It's your job to be on top of things. This kind of disregard for proper procedure is really just terrible. I'm trying to convey the vehemence, and it's not really working that well. They completed it, being capable of doing so, but the students have been sick recently, so they could not come to school and give it back to me. If you want, I will apologize on their behalf for getting sick. Okay. Although Misha's... Mrs. Lily's little jab entirely, Shizune doesn't, and she seems torn between being offended by Lily's daring, daring and jumping for joy at the prospect of a challenge. Lily, don't they live here at the school? That's a five minute walk, you know. What could they possibly have that prevents them from taking five minutes out of their busy lives to drop off something that will affect the enjoyment of their entire class? Lily opens her mouth to say something, but Shizun closes the gap between them and starts signing furiously, waving her hands around like an orchestra conductor. Mrs. tries her best to convey the same passion, but can't seem to lose her normal cheerful tone. The result is interesting and somewhat surreal. And what's with that attitude? I said that it's not something that you should be delegating away. Are you the class representative or aren't you? Tell me the names of those two students. They should have your job if you can't even handle something this simple yourself. One form isn't the full extent of what I am supposed to take care of. Lily's tone is growing slightly impatient, but she is doing a good job of not letting Shizun see how unsettled she is becoming. She's playing her cards close to her chest. Shizun, on the other hand, wraps her fingers cheerfully along the edge of her glasses, knowing Lily can neither... Hear nor see how excited she is. They're getting way too energetic for me right now. I think they need to just tone it down just a tidbit, you know. Dot, dot, dot. Of course you do so much, class rep. It must be difficult being you. I wonder how hard it would be to communicate if you remove the middleman. How can a blind person communicate with a deaf person. Lily tightens her lips at Misha's words, clearly understanding the intent behind them, even though Misha delivers them without even a hint of the sarcasm which they were meant to have. They have to have those symbols with this type of understanding. Shizune and Lily don't like each other, that, that much is clear. But this seems a little much, it seems like Lily has had enough and is ready to push back. I was actually just discussing the budget report before you came by. You must be very talented to have finished all your student council duties so quickly that you can track me down to make sure I don't forget my own. Are you accusing me of slacking off? It seems like you're confusing me with yourself. These people scare me. <laughs> I don't think so. That would be a very difficult thing for me to do, comparing myself to you. You're right, the difference between...